Hey, I'm Dalton from MSI. And my name is Larry Liu. And we're a couple of the creators of the coffee table PC mod that MSI showed off at CES 2020. So just a little bit about ourselves. I'm more of a PC enthusiast. You know, I do a lot of PC gaming like Call of Duty, Overwatch, Apex Legends. Also do a lot of photography, video editing. Uh, so I'm way more into like, PC tech or like camera gear, uh, things of that nature. And I am definitely more of the petrol head. So if you actually notice on the coffee table, you'll see a start stop button from a car and you'll see a battery tie down for the power supply itself. But um, this is definitely not my area of expertise. I'm definitely a lot more into cars. I do like staying up to date with tech, but definitely not as avid of a PC enthusiast. To get the PC specs out of the way, we're using the MSI Creator TRX40 motherboard, two GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Ventus, the new AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3960X, eight six of eight gigabytes of Corsair's Vengeance RGB Pro RAM for a total of 64 gigs, and Corsair's Hydro X series cooling. We'd also like to thank AMD and Corsair for their partnership on this and making this build possible. This idea started with me wanting to build a PC and that's when I reached out to Dalton to see what options were available. So I suggested a Trident 3 because I knew Larry wanted to have the PC in his living room to power uh, a VR headset. Specifically for Arsetto Corsa actually and the whole idea was to be able to utilize my racing seat and rig along with a PC so that I'm no longer using a PS4. I wanted something that was more custom and had a lot more thought into it. And that's when we spitballed ideas back and forth. It eventually ended up with, hey, why don't we build our own PC and why don't we put it inside of a coffee table? That'd be a really cool idea. At the time we were building this and when we pitched this, we only had one wow. content creator monitor. Uh, that's the Prestige PS341WU. It's a 34 inch ultra wide monitor and that monitor itself is huge. It is really, it is really huge. Probably one of the biggest challenges we had to work with just due to its sheer size of 34 inches was taking up a lot of space in addition to the PC alone. So it's one of the coolest additions, but also one of the most challenging additions. It would be mounted onto a drawer. You'd be able to kind of one single handedly pull out the monitor on its own hinge and access on a base amount that can pivot and however you want to use it but all those mechanisms required a lot of space. This was my first time doing custom liquid cooling at all. Never done any hard tubing, never done any soft tubing. I've used AIOs, which I don't know if that would have helped at all, but we spent a lot of hours bending tubes, re-bending tubes because they weren't perfect enough. They made contact with some of the components and like in the way where it just wouldn't sit nice or look nice. Overall, I want to believe that this coffee table PC mod was well received. I did see a couple people commenting like, you know, why? It's super unpractical and... I mean, that's that's very true. Yeah. It's, it is really why, impractical. Why do we build it? And I've done a few SEMA builds before, completely unrelated to CES, but it's very similar. You always want to try to go over the top and add unnecessary things. And it's just for the sake of almost the show and just the satisfaction of being able to do it. So when this coffee table came back to us from CES, it arrived back damaged. The wood has split completely from like one end to the other, uh, next to the legs. From the damages, we think that this coffee table is probably beyond fixing, even though we've tossed around the ideas of how we could possibly salvage it, maybe cut the monitor end off or something like that. But this whole PC has been, the whole coffee table actually has been very custom from the glass to the legs to the wood and it's just it's not something we can just go out and purchase we would love to hear from you guys if you have any suggestions ideas what we could do please let us know in the comments 
part two. I don't two? know. Let us know. Let <laughs> us know whether or not we should do a second revision of this or rebuild the same thing or maybe do something different. If you stuck around this long, thanks for watching. This was a fun and long project. Would you do this again, Larry? I plead the fifth. <laughs>